Hey, hey now. This is man. This is woman. This is husband. This is wife. And together we are... The Randolphs. Mr. and Mrs. Wedding Ring. Welcome to the show, y'all. <laughs> I just want to be honest and let down my walls. No, I don't want any problems. No baggage involved. No baggage. Please don't tell me forever if we can't evolve. Because I would rather be nothing than something we're not. Because I'm Miss Wedding Ring. All right, so we got a list of questions in. Um, the first one is arguing. Mm -hmm. And she says, uh, my husband is great at debating. He never loses an argument. Sometimes he's actually wrong, but he's so good at making points that I cannot truly be heard. I don't really know what to do because by way of debate, I'm always wrong. At this point, I don't say anything. How do I fix this? Mm. Sign forcibly quiet. Mm. Forcibly quiet. Mm. You better start talking. Okay. Well, I'll say I, I probably her husband, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say we're, we're in reverse. <laughs> well, I am right a lot. But let's answer her question. So, we can say that when we have our arguments or our debates, right, we, we, we listen to each other. Yes, we've gotten better at that. Yeah, we have. Yes. Over the years, I mean, of yes. course, we yes. listen to each other. Yes. So, with us listening to one another, we actually hear the problem. Like, literally, let's sit down, have a conversation, and have a dialogue where we're listening to one another. Mm -hmm. So... That's just it. You have to sit down and listen to what the concern is. They say the, um, what am I going to say? They say, I know for a fact, and I think you'll agree with me, that listening and communication is one of the key components to a successful marriage. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So. Well, the, and the other thing, too, is I think that if you want to be heard, I think that in your downtime before you get into a debate, say, hey, you know, whenever we debate about something, Let's, let's make a rule so that neither one of us feel mm -hmm. um, like we're not being heard. Mm -hmm. um, and let's try to listen to understand each other's point opposed to trying to beat each other being right. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, you know, people get into a debate and it's just simply agree to disagree, not necessarily wrong and right. I think a lot of energy comes from when you're not being heard and no one hears you, it's like there's underlying issues. There's something underneath that needs to be addressed. Because when you respect people, then you listen to what they have to say. Like, you want to hear their viewpoint. Right. So there's an underlying issue there, I think, um, that could be causing the root of him to just be, you know, well, I'm right, and it's what I say, and that's just that. Right. Respectfully, when we have our debates, even though I do be right a lot of times, I do listen to you. I listen to every word. I think I'm the better listener when it comes to us. But we're not talking about us. We're talking about them. Mm -hmm. But just to piggyback off, the, off of that. Okay. Do you agree? I'm a better listener? Um, it's, I, 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 yes, you, you listen better, but you, you have to look at the nature of woman versus man when it comes to speaking. Why? Yeah, because when y'all speak, you speak in tidal waves and it's so okay. much to, no, listen, understand, so much comes at us when y'all speaking that it's like we, we have to, it's like we're drowning in what you're saying. Well, clearly, when she I, don't talk. Well, she has to learn how to Communicate mm -hmm. so that she can't speak when those times come up. Okay. But like I said, you can't have that conversation during the argument. You got to have that conversation prior to. Prior to. Absolutely. So yeah, just having a conversation about talking. Yeah. Like let's 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 have a, a literally sit down heart to heart. Right. So yeah. Next question. Next question. Uh, timing. Me and my lady has been dating and things are great. 
I was told that you don't know a person until you've seen them mad at you. How true is this statement? I'm ready to move forward, but do I really know her yet? Because I haven't pissed her off yet. <laughs> How and when did you guys know that you knew each other enough? Signed, eh, I don't know. So, so let's answer the first question. Um, I was told that you don't know a person until you've seen them mad at you. Did you really find out who I was when I got mad at you? Can you remember when I got mad at you, the first time I got mad at you? Yeah. What was it about? It was about dealing with them neighbors and you thought I was a punk because I wasn't doing nothing. And you know how that went. I don't even want to get into it because that was just traumatizing. It's not but. traumatizing. <laughs> no, but it, it, it just... Just as, as a police officer, he, you had certain... Yeah, I had, to, I had to maintain my composure. Yeah. But whereas the, I can act like I'm from the east side like I am, and right. that's what I did. But but yeah. see, but see, me being who I am, mm -hmm. I didn't get mad at you because I knew you didn't understand. I didn't. The but dynamics I didn't care. of why. Now did it hurt my feelings to a extent? Yeah. But at the same time, I got over it quick because again. But did you learn who I was? I mean, not in that moment. That takes time. You don't somebody get mad at you, you don't just know who they are just because they mad at you. I can't remember a time you was mad at me. You said you can't remember a time when I was mad at you? Yeah, what's the time you really got mad at me? Like a how I get mad at you? Oh man, I don't know, I can't even I think when you raised your voice at me that time. And I was when like, he was in the basement. I said, don't yell at me. Well, that ain't how you said it. What'd I say? You was like, don't yell at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, so. I got your attention. So, what was the second part of the question? Second part of the question, Oh, he said, "How true is this statement?" Yeah. I don't. I, I think it's it's got some inaccuracy to it because people get upset, people get mad. Yeah. I don't think somebody's anger tells what they're who they are. Your anger is a, is an emotion, so right. I feel like right. when I'm angry, when I've gotten to that point with you, like sometimes you do annoy me more than I annoy you. I won't say that. I, I do you say just, that. You just act on it more than I do. I don't... No, you annoy me more. Like this morning when we was reading. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. You do things that's like not thought about. Like it's not well thought out. Like when I was when I was on the phone the other day and I walked through the security and it was like everybody can hear you in there. And you was just like, you just had to start singing at that very point, knowing that you're on FaceTime. You wouldn't get annoyed if I did that to you. Whereas for me, it's like, you know I'm in this place like this, and you're going to just bust out singing, know me on FaceTime? Okay. Well, that got on your nerves. Yes. Okay. You always get on my nerves. <laughs> well, you get you do stuff that, that What I do to get on off. your nerve? You do a lot of stuff to tick me off. I'm asking you something specific. Especially when we driving. Okay. Well, okay. And that's just one. Well, but I'm not doing that. Right. driving. Babe. First of all, I don't keep score. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you ask me that stuff, I gotta really think hard because mm -hmm. I don't keep score. But that sticks out because we always drive. I don't keep score neither. Oh no! I just know you work do. my nerves more than I work yours. What do you do when y'all drive? Oh my god! It's, I'm trying it's, to get him there, but listen, <laughs> it could be some simple as why you in this lane. What <laughs> difference does it make? What lane I'm in? You over there? You talking to me? What? What difference does it make what lane I'm in? It makes a lot of difference when we're trying to get somewhere. Yeah, but you like that when we ain't even rushing. But the best, the, listen, the the, uh, the only time when driving is, is 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 good is when you sleep. When you sleep, it's peaceful. It's like driving on the countryside, looking at the cornfields, back where you used to grow up at. You know, it's peaceful. And when you up and you alert and you just amped. I can't turn the steering wheel the right way. Cause you can't drive like that. So why have me drive? Cause you gonna drive. Cause I'm busy. See, that makes that's crazy. Getting footage that's that you don't crazy. get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get back back to the. No, to the seriously, ranch. that's at the ranch. We at the ranch. Our arguments come from driving. That's I mean that they derive from driving. You have to let me respond. You can't just go on back into that question. 
the thing of it is, is this. When you want to go somewhere, we get there. And we get there fast. I mean, you, you, you teared up. When the last time I drove like that? Babe, and oh my God, here you go with these questions. Sir, do you not, and have I not pointed it out several times during the course of our relationship? Yes, and have, during the course of us being married and in our relationship, you have pointed it out. But I have not done that lately. But you do do that when you have to go somewhere, right? Hello? Meow. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna answer yes. I'm gonna answer yes. See, I don't like these, I don't like this surface yes. Tell the truth. Babe, that's not like that every single time not, I gotta go somewhere. Yes, it is. When you're pressed for it and it's something important to you, we get there. You be we be in the squire car. My so, car instantly so, turns into a squire car. Okay, so so. Here's the thing. Have I not pointed it out? I just said you do. I don't even have you to have. say nothing. I'll be like, oh, wait, seatbelt. And then the thing of it is, you be expecting Like, when I got to do something, you, you you sit back there, you do this. I'm, I'm going to watch how you I'm try. Gonna, yeah, I'm watching. It's just like, wow, you, it's like you Because egging. when I want to go there and get there on time, then you don't care. It's like, oh, do-do-do-do, la-di-da-di-da. Bring out so the that, violins. Is that, is that every single time? You got to do something when I'm driving. Most of the time, yes, it's like that. Wow. If I could say, babe, we're in a rush, let's go. You be mm, in the first lane. You know we got to get over here to the third lane. A lot line. of times you be wanting me to rush and I can't even go nowhere. Right? We be on Telegraph. I be like, babe, where you want me to go? Well, had Have you did a guy? millisecond earlier and got in front of the car, then we would have been around there and then we would be ahead of everybody else. Jeez, That's it. That's all. If you had a remote control, you'd be happy. Now I'm responding, so we're done with that. Okay. I'm ready to move forward, but do I really know her yet? Because I haven't pissed her off yet. Again, I, you don't get to know somebody only when they're angry. It's, it's a combination of... Yeah, I agree there's different facets to a person. Yeah. Because when I'm nice, I'm nice. Yeah. I think when I'm... when I'm, you, you can agree. Do you agree that when I'm kind to you, I'm nice to you? <laughs> yes. I'm, 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 I'm laughing because... Do you like when I'm nice? I love it when you're nice. Okay. When I'm loving you, I guess. You like when I'm nice? Well, I mean, most people like when they're yeah. nice. But I'm just saying, is it my niceness, my kindness outweighs my mean? Or no? <sighs> Damn, you got to think about it, though. No, babe. I, I, I want to say the right thing. I, I don't just... You know, sometimes you got to think before you speak. I don't just... Well, if you got to think before you speak, then you're lying. I'm not lying. Okay, well then just say it. Say it. Am I nice? Am I? Am, do I get? Do you, do you? Does the love supersede the anger? Yes. Okay, that's love, all I'm asking. Yes, that's that's the right question. Well then, I'm just saying it, well, it outweighs it. Is what I said. Yeah, it, 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 your love outweighs your anger. Yeah, so good. I mean, you just. I mean, you. you have Can I see the next question? Can I read it? Yeah, I, I give you a turn. I gotta finish this. Hold on. We done. Um. Uh, Piss her off. Then when you piss her off, you'll know she the one. That's it. Okay, it said, how and when did you guys know that you knew each other enough, I guess, to get married? Um, you asked me to marry you. but well, we, we knew we wanted to be married when we met. Yeah. I, I just... We knew we wanted to be married. You have to tell them when you knew I was the one, because I wasn't asking I knew she, I knew she was the one when I first met her. I, I think when it when, when it comes to people getting angry, that's just something you when you say you love somebody, you have to just be willing to to deal with. Cause everybody gonna get angry about something. Yeah, as long as she a, ain't burning up your house. Yeah. I mean, if you ain't out there cheating and, and doing all the wrong stuff for her to get mad in that aspect, then I mean, yeah. you can deal with her getting you know angry or pissed off. And if yeah. you haven't pissed her off, I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. But I mean, if you together long enough, y'all gonna make each you're other gonna, mad you're at gonna. some point. Yeah, that, that's just natural human. Yeah, uh, that's just natural. So. And in our relationship, opposites attract. So yeah, we're a lot alike in a lot of ways. I'll say foundation wise, but we are a lot different in a lot of ways as well. So that's what makes us Mr. and Mrs. Wedding Ring. <laughs> Absolutely. Here you go, love. Let's okay. Next question. Yeah, he's over. Ready for this? Go ahead. You know this is gonna tickle my fancy. Maybe put some five under. Okay. Work spouse. You got a work bitch. Read the question. I'm what? just asking, so we even so I, I know how to respond. I ain't got no work, nothing. Okay. 
Well, if you're watching and you happen to think Mr. Randolph is your work husband, don't. Okay. <laughs> work spouse. I have a work husband. Just the sound of that just gets on my nerve. He's not what I really want, but it's nice to get the kind of attention he gives me. I don't plan on ever seeing him because I love my hubby. Hubby is always busy and I understand because he, he has so many responsibilities and he does a great job. I feel guilty because if he got attention from another woman, I would feel some type of way. Am I a bad person? Because I, what I think is harmless, except the attention? Or should I just tough it out and not get it and, and not get it at, getting it at home? Sign. She needs some damn attention. Here, take your board back. <laughs> so you already know how I feel about work husbands and work wives. Absolutely not. Like, it's an absolute no. Like, I don't even put that. Don't call me your work girlfriend. None of that. And ain't nobody better not be at that job calling my husband no work husband. Like, if you even think that, that's unacceptable. Well, here's, here's the thing. You can't replace what you're not getting at home. And then the dude is giving you attention at work. He ain't, that ain't no work. He ain't putting in no work. That's easy to do. Y'all at work. Y'all at work. And he winking at you. Yeah. Talking about you mean, cute. That, that's just, you just something for him to do. Maybe you need to put on some. What you got on at home? What you putting on? Are you putting on some frumpy pants and some flannels? Maybe you got to put on something to make your husband look at you and, and, and make him see you again. Because we we have to do that. We As, as wives, we are constantly reinventing ourselves. So, no work husband, none of that. Cut that out, okay? Period. Because how you know he'll have a wife at home? And if he do, shame on you. Like, that's silly. That's that's what silly women do. I don't like that. And then he playing you. Period. If he got a wife at home, he, you getting played anyway. You not, you, listen. He just telling you what you want to hear. Exactly, because he just, he's waiting on his opportunity to knock the boots. Period. That's it. And you, and you giving in, giving in. All it takes is the right moment for the hubby to you get mad. You need to go talk to your husband, yeah. ma'am. Like, really, you need to talk to your husband. You need, it looks like this. Hey, you don't, you don't look at me. I don't hear, I don't hear any not kind gestures from you. You don't notice I get my nails done. You don't notice like when I get my feet done. You don't even notice if I change my hair color. I need that affection from you. Everybody else noticed me. All of my job. When I walk outside, I'm noticed. When I'm walking down the street, I'm noticed. When I walk in the Walmart, they notice me. And here it is, you can't even, you, you don't see anything different. That's what it looks like. And we have to have a conversation. So you have to open your mouth and tell me how fine that I am every day. You fine. Yeah, that's what I need to hear, okay? I love you. Yeah, that's, and then I don't always come to bed with the flannels on either, okay? <laughs> Or take the, the flannels clothes. off, okay? <laughs> Smell like oil and, and yeah. See, and then take and then and then and then put put some perfume on. Smell good, look pretty. You know, come get an infallible wig or something. Do something, change it up. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do things to, to get his attention. Yeah, because he'll probably ask the question, where you who you looking good yeah, for? Because he probably got a work wife. That's fine. Yeah, that's cat hair, honey. Okay. That, that he's paying attention to because because you look over looking, there looking like who did it and what for. Yeah, so you you y'all got to get together and talk and find out what's what's going on. You can't just say, well, he ain't paying me attention. This is an excuse for me to pay attention to uh, Paul at work. Yeah. Nah. Paul seeing past your sweatpants. That's all that is. Yeah. Okay. For the moment. It's only for a moment, and it's never gonna work out anyway. It's, you need to just cancel it, like really. Go talk to your husband and tell him what, what he's not doing. I need you to pay attention to me. I need to know that I'm valued and I feel pretty, to, to, to feel pretty when I come home, when I'm at home. Cause you getting all, you know, willy nilly inside, feeling all, you know, butterflies from somebody else's husband or somebody else's man. Go get that from your husband. I'm sure he probably got another work wife in the same plant where he 
working at. <laughs> you ain't by yourself, trust me. Somebody else in there getting his attention yeah. too. Yeah. He just know how to work the flow. Yeah, that's all that is. So, yeah. um, don't have no work wife. Cause I can't, I don't even like that. Don't even let nobody even insinuate. Yeah, tell me like that. the lady that was trying to buy you smoothies every day. Oh Lord Jesus. I seen it in the phone. I did. I did. I know it was. I wasn't even looking for it, but it just happened to. I found it on the iPad. Yeah, and I told you that every it was a group thing. I understand, Not but that she kind of needs thing. to focus on the other part of the group, because all your smoothies are accounted for. Okay. <laughs> she don't need to get you no smoothie. And the part, the part that I had a problem with. Don't roll your eyes. The part that I had a problem with, first of all. You be messing with folks' husband. You just another one on the list. You a husband. That's number one. Okay. Number two, she didn't have to say nothing about her booty. That part right there. Okay. What did she say about her booty? You know what she said. I don't say it. Talking about don't hit this big old booty when she walking across the street. It don't matter if you're interested or not. The, it was the LOL that said nothing. That said I'm interested. That said, oh, that's cute. Laughing out loud my ass. No, you don't do that. That's a problem. I still got a problem with her. I can't wait to see her too. I really can't. That's what. That's where it starts at when you don't stop it. That's where it starts at. No laughing out loud. Tell her your wife is crazy and you got an ass at home, okay? That's it. That's all. Mr. Wedding Ring. Okay, Husband. So this is Wedding Ring. Wife. Okay, I'm just saying. Make it make sense. Make you don't have no problems out of me because I know how to put them in check. Yeah. Yeah. You got a whole lot of them put mm -hmm. in check. Yeah. They're always in your inbox. Well, they stay in my inbox. That's where they stay. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's all. I live in my inbox. Well, that ain't my problem. Okay. And thank God for that. Yeah, thank God. Mm-hmm. Because it will be problems. They don't live in your inbox, but they stay texting. That's one answer. And they don't live in your inbox no more because I went live. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I need to go live then. I'm just saying, you don't have to go live There's on me. Some weights in my hand. No, because. You're my wife inbox. No, I'm no, no, you. no, 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 no. See, that's that's not necessary. You don't have to do that because I take care of that. I don't send laughing out loud and be like, <laughs> cute. No, nigga, stay over there. What I, that ain't you I, laughing out loud. You, just you said That's... nothing to booty crossing the street. You, you right. I said, I, you I, laughed I, out loud. <laughs> not in <laughs> literally. Not, not literally. I just typed it in there. You no. laughed out loud. I just said what I did. I okay. typed it in there. It don't matter. Typed it, did it. That's what the action. Okay, behind but I it. Wasn't, <laughs> it like, That's how I is. felt. Okay, well you can't he, he that, You ain't no he he. You should have said, look, ain't nobody don't he, text he. this like this, okay? Okay, I I, I take responsibility for that. I should have yeah. said Yeah, that. that be the problem all the time. See, you ain't got to come over there to my Zoom. Nothing about no anybody being in my inbox because I handle that. Yeah, you handle it, but they, they coming in. They, like, I can't help that they keep coming. You should be happy. Uh, hey. Okay. I, listen. Yeah. At the end of the day, as long as I'm dead in that situation. Hey, at the end of the day, Long Hi. What? You don't dead situations. That's the problem. It's dead. Now it is. It's I think. Dead. No, I ain't no think. It's dead. Okay. How? How would you say to her? Nothing. I, I ain't say nothing. But I'm she not know dead. what it is. She don't know nothing yes, unless you tell her. When she. When she. When That's she... the problem. This is the key. This is the key component to hoes becoming homewreckers. Okay. This is how. This is how because. Men don't do their job. You laugh it off. And I'm not going to say men, women too. You push it too far and you allow them to go too far. Stop it. Nip it in the bud, as they would say. When men come in my DM and my inboxes, sir, you know I'm married. Oh, my bad. I didn't know that. Well, now you know. Please do not that, hey, beautiful, all that. Get that out of here. This always played out anyway. Like, we, we're over it. But, but, but at the end of the day, you have to nip stuff in the bud and call it like, this is what this is. Don't come over here. Now that you know that I'm married, and he continues to, hey, beautiful you, to death, which I don't even really think that that's, like, a big thing. It's the next level shit that I'm talking about. When I can take you out. You so fine. 
I heard you the first time, okay? Matter of fact, my husband tell me every day, please don't disrespect my husband. That's what it looks like, okay? Please don't disrespect my wife. I'm asking you. And at that point, you already shut it down. They don't even want to say nothing. You, they, they be feeling so small, they're not even trying to entertain you anymore. She should have been, she should have been handled. It's okay. And I know, I understand you said she wasn't there for you. I don't care who she was there for. The fact that she's there and she like husbands. Point taken. Yeah. So that's the, that's the, that's one of the key elements of, in, in, in uh, when it comes to infidelity and adultery happening, because we don't nip stuff in the bud. Amen. Yeah, lips here. <laughs> so. Well, that is our show today um, in dramatic fashion. No, it's not dramatic. It's being real serious. Okay, in serious fashion. Um, tune in next time for more of Mr. and Mrs. Wedding Ring. And make sure you like, follow, subscribe. All that good stuff, because we got some more stuff to talk about, okay? Oh, yeah, plenty. And keep them questions coming in. I'm Miss Wedding Ring.